I want to go over um, the create react app command tool and I want to show the different ways we can use that to create a react app as well as what else it can give us uh, out of the box and so the first thing I'd like to show is how would we um, create a react app using um, an npm package manager and then we'll move on to yarn and so on so as we have here we have as you can see here we have an empty folder so if I was to list it's empty uh, I'm just going to clear it so to create a react app using npm we would do npm init react npm init react app and then we would give it a name so I'm going to say app app1 and if I was to hit that it's going to go a list of uh, it's going to go through a list of installations and it's going to set it up for me and it's going to have your package.json and so on all set up so as you can see it went through a list of installations installed everything and then at the end it just gives you a bit of information on how to run the project and and how to test it and and so on so as you can see here the installation is finished and it gave you a list of uh, commands to use to run the application run the tests are rejected and so on if i was to look here the project has been created successfully now if i want to use yarn to create a react app then i would do um, um, different it's a different approach to um, to what we did before so it's well, very similar in a way so we would instead of having get in it we would do yarn create um, react app and then I would give it a name here so app 2 I'm not gonna run this but this is exactly um, the way to create a react app using yarn now the third approach, and it's one of the fastest approaches, I believe, is the, using the mpx command line tool. And with the mpx, all we need to do is mpx um, create react app, and then we would give it a name here. So I'll just call it project mpx or something. Very original. <laughs> and so as we can see here, if I was to hit enter, that will create a project and it will do the same thing it did previously and install a successful project for me. Now by default when I uh, when I use mpx, um, npm or yarn, the project that gets installed use, it uses the default template which is JavaScript, meaning your components uh, uh, files will end with a JS um, or JSX extensions. To change that, if I wanted to work with TypeScript, then I need to pass in something else to this uh, to this command. And to do that, basically it's a dash dash um, template, and in here I will name the template I'm, I want to use. So the default template is JavaScript. You need to keep that in mind. And if I want to overwrite that, if I want a different template, then I would state that here. So template, TypeScript. So that's one thing um, which might be helpful for you guys. And so you don't have to set up uh, TypeScript from scratch. You could you could use it right away once your uh, project is set up. Um, the other thing is with MPX, um, the default uh, package manager that will be used is yarn. When I run this command, by default, Project MPX will have yarn as its default package manager. To change that, if I want to use npm instead, then I would do um, dash dash uh, use dash npm. So once I hit that, the default uh, package manager in project mpx is going to be npm because I told it here that I don't want you to use yarn which is the default package manager instead I want you to use npm 
okay? And that's one of the easiest way to basically um, control what, you know, what template or what uh, package manager to use. It's all through the command line. So I hope this video has brought something to you and I'll see you in the next video.